Hey everyone, and welcome back to the X-Ring. This is not gonna be your typical X-Ring video because uh, there's no shooting. Maybe we can change that towards the end. But back behind me, I've got my pickup truck and I needed a cover for it. I just picked up a new one. And guys, I've tried every bed cover known to man. I've had the X-Tangs, the back flips, the roll-up kinds. And there are some things I think you need to sh think about as a competitive shooter if you go to a lot of matches. Number one, you're gonna see a lot of pickup trucks because they work out well. But the problem is a lot of times with the long rifles, you don't want to put them in the back because now you're limited to two people. What you need the back for is carrying all of your gear accessibility. And what you don't want to do is be reaching in and out of the vehicle, grabbing those long guns. And plus you're going to eat up all of your interior space for anything else you might need. You're going to want a cooler in your truck. And the problem is, is having a cooler in the back of the truck is going to limit how much space you have, especially if you have two people that are working out of the back of the vehicle. So I usually keep the cooler up in the front area up here. So when you get into these bed covers, the problem that you're gonna find is, is now you have no way to access that if it is a, let's say, flip type, because this usually is gonna stay covered. Even if it's a triple panel, if it's a roll-up, the roll-up's only gonna go to about right here. It's gonna limit your access to that cooler. And then especially when you're at matches where it's really dusty, all of your stuff is gonna get covered in dust. So having some type of cover is gonna help. So I've looked at all the different ones and guys, I'll tell you, I know nothing about this product. They've given me nothing to buy this and I didn't wanna spend the kind of money, but what happened was when I sold my other vehicle, I was basically told there was a huge price increase on the cover and that the cover that I was looking at was now $1,200 as opposed to it being 900 and some change about six months ago. So with that being said, I ordered one from a company called Diamondback. The dog is having a good time over there, if that's what you're hearing. And I actually ordered it, and they told me it would ship within about a week or two. Well, I got an email notification from SD's Trucking. I'll go ahead and show you how they dropped it off, how it's packaged, and we'll see how hard it is to install. If you haven't heard of Diamondback, I've seen one or two of these at the matches. It is a little cost prohibitive. Uh, for a lot of people because they make two models they make the HD which has like a 1400 pound rated uh, cover so you can actually park a four-wheeler on top of it I didn't opt for that one I don't need to do that that's what I have a trailer for I'm not going to carry a four by four or side by side up here it's just too high in my opinion um, but I did order the SE model so the HD model runs somewhere around $2100 and the SE model runs around $1,800. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what it takes to get this thing installed. All right, so I got a shipping notification from Estes saying that they needed someone to sign for it, but they made it really easy for you to sign on your phone to make sure that you didn't have to be here. And you have a lot of places you can actually have them leave it. Uh, so I came home and this is exactly where they left it, just like this, everything's packaged on a skid looks nice it's packaged nice i don't see any damage on it and the invoice is there so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside all right guys so you want to have a friend with you so i was able to call rick over because this thing weighs 250 pounds by itself so first thing i'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this thing up see how this thing's packaged good banding anyway oh we got it together all right and then uh, i guess we just lift this off Kind of like the Alright, so they offer it in a couple different finishes. They have what they call a diamond plate finish and then a black solid finish. This right here is actually the top and it almost looks like a heavy duty rhino line surface. But everything is packaged pretty well. I'm going to put it on time lapse and let's see what this takes. Alright, this reminded me. So this is the before. And let's see what it looks like afterwards. All right, guys, so as we're unpackaging it, you have the center panel. It actually has arrows showing you the tailgate. This is going to be the back panel because it has the diamond back logo here, but everything is packed very nicely. One of the things I wanted to mention is they give you the option of having them install the cleats or you can install it. I don't know if I want them on there, so I'll make that decision later on. Now guys, diamond back is all made in the USA. When you open this up, you will see the gas struts on here and then some other stuff and information. So we're gonna keep on moving. All right guys, so in that folder are operating instructions and you have a quick installation guide. They're saying installation time is 45 minutes. 
doesn't require many tools. This also has a lifetime warranty. But basically, we took that center and it said place it in the center favoring the tailgate. And now what we're going to do is loosely affix the center panel to the truck, finger tight tightening a cap clamp. So what we did is we placed it on the truck here. And you guys can see we're favoring the back of the tailgate a little bit. All right, guys. So with these clamps, it's all four corners here. So what I'm doing is I'm just loosening this. And the clamp is going to go on this way from what I'm seeing. So basically, you just come up and over. Then I'm going to flush this in. It's at the four corners, and I'm just going to tighten these by hand. I'm not even going to tighten them. I'm just going to get them to where they're on here. That way I still have the ability to slide. And on the bed here, you have one that slides in and the other one clamps on. We're going to get this sticker off. I'm sure it's got important information. But basically, this one slides on first. So this looks like that on the hinge. Then over here, this one doesn't look like that. Remember, this one has to go in first. All right, so it's all squared up. Now what are you doing? I uh, used a 9 16 deep well. Just get me in a little closer, and I'm just tightening these clamps up and dropping everything out of my pockets. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this camera around. You see, it comes shipped like this, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this out, and then we're going to rotate it down. So now this lock mechanism can go under the bed rail. This is how you're going to secure it. So with the versatility of this flipping up, I do have the option of being able to grab everything in my cooler here, and I could still get a drink out, do whatever I need to do. See that, guys? There's not, a, not one sweet tea in there. And a lot of guys <laughs> might say, well, this isn't enough. What if I need to flip it over? They have quick disconnects on these gas shocks. And they even give you a tether here because remember, everything's based off the central location. You also see how this locks into that center panel. So that's going to give you a lot of rain protection. Well, it locks but now, in on this if you want to leave one of these up, it can't rip it off because it's got the bolt. This is a safety bar. I'll show you how this works. This auto engages so that if it accidentally, right here, you have to actually put your hand in there and release that safety for this to be able to come up just like that. It's like a huge toolbox lid is what it is. It was really hard to find a bad review on this cover. I mean, that's pretty odd whenever they've sold thousands of units. Uh, pretty impressed with it. One of the things that I noticed, there were some complaints about guys being able to see daylight where the front closes down. So they do give you a piece of weather stripping because the side rail is actually a little higher than the cab rail. So we're gonna go over here and look at this. And what we're talking about is this area right here. If you see that it's down just a little bit, and I think on the Ford Ranger, he said I, daylight. I think it's a little lower. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is just clean this, stick it to it, and that'll help make up that quarter inch you gap. Say stick it to it. All right, so I'm gonna get these leaves out of here, but we just cleaned this with alcohol. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and stick this gasket Famous down. Famous moonshine. We're gonna stick that gasket down. All right, guys, so I'm gonna teach you guys a trick that I used to use back when I was a glazer. Glazer. Old, uh, skylights, he's actually got that stuck a little bit too close to the middle. Needs to be a little bit further back. Can you hand me this red? What you do is you just keep it at about 45 degrees, and what you wanna do is lay it down, and what you're gonna do is press on it because you don't wanna stretch a gasket, okay? I'm trying to get you guys video of this, so put your finger right where the red starts to disappear, and then what you do is you pull this, and then he touches right where that is. This keeps you from pre-stretching a gasket, which will save you a lot of trouble in the future. Because what will happen is, as it heats and expands, what will end up happening with the gasket is the gasket will end up being stronger than the adhesive, and it'll pull away. So we'll just continue to do this. Sorry for the movement, trying to work off the side of a truck. Right. So I'll just touch it there, pull this, here, 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 and then I am going to have to cut this off. Never stretch a gasket. All right, so now we've pressed all that on, and we should be able to close this. And he's got to retract that handle. 
See that handle is not retracted all the way. There he goes. And now he should be able to rotate that and it will lock into place and pull the front of the cab down. And now we've essentially filled up that void. All right, guys, so all finished out, it looks good. Everything works great. I put enough pressure on this and this still works on opening it. Now I got to get all those leaves out of there. All right, guys, so the beauty of this is that it fits perfectly. I mean, everything's just like it was made for the truck. Always know your bed length. The other thing that's nice about this, the SE is this is actually load bearing. This will hold 400 pounds on top of this, so you can still strap things to it. I don't know if I want it to look like a boat and have tie down anchors on here, but this whole unit's supposed to be rated for 400 plus pounds on the SE. So now you've got good durability. It is aluminum construction. And remember, if you step up to that HD model, it'll hold like 14 or 1600 pounds. Uh, I'm very satisfied with it. Yes, it was a lot of money to bite off, but at the same time, I know that if I do leave stuff in here, and I'm not one to typically leave guns overnight in the back of a truck, but at least if I left it for a little bit, I wouldn't be as concerned with this one. Of course, anything can be defeated. The other benefit of this is, is especially pulling the camper when uh, we go to a match. Now I can keep the generator in here. I actually have more clearance because it's not flush with the bed. And I think it looks I'm always good. always tired of my shooting mats getting wet and I got to dry them out. So what better way to test it than to go through a car wash? Let's see. All right, the back is all nice and dry. So let's check it out. So the Diamondback SE is installed. It does come with keyed locks. So in this case, you just insert the lock. I'm gonna give you a close up of this because they use good heavy duty locks on this. You just rotate it and then now I can lift this up. Now, if I had something tall, because this is one of my big concerns, let's say I wanted to carry something that was higher than the bed. What you can do is they have quick releases on these struts. Once you unhook the struts, then what you can do is lay this over. One of the things I do want to look at is because I didn't put the anchor points on here, I wouldn't feel secure driving around with this because I would be afraid that the wind would catch this and flip it back up. So I do need to do some reading on that, but I am very happy with this. Let's go ahead and check out the front, make sure I've got good access up here. And remember, just to put these back on, all we have to do is just connect it, flip the lock back over, And just that easy, it's done. So on the front up here, all I have to do, having those side steps, is lift this this way. Remember, I've got the safety. I've got to disengage here to be able to access everything up front. So really satisfied with it. I think it's a great addition. Ask me one thing, why would anybody want a Ford Ranger when you can have a trunk monkey? All right, hope you guys enjoyed that review of the Diamondback SE bed cover. You can turn anything into a gun video. Big shout out to Rick over at Easier Six Covered. Go check him out. He's got a lot of good long range content as well, especially with 22 content, getting ready to head off to nationals. Yep. And I'm gonna be happy with this Diamondback because we will be pulling the uh, camper, myself and Matt. And so I wanted to be able to have a place to secure the generators and everything else while we're going, so. Super strong, super easy to put together. Yep. And made That's in the great. USA and a lifetime warranty. That's guys, it. yeah, you do get what you pay for. Uh, I'm very satisfied with that cover. Hope you guys enjoyed that review. See you we'll guys. talk to you soon. Have a good one.